Merry Christmas. From the revolution to you, we just want to thank you for allowing us to serve you during Christmas on Lake Street. And you're probably getting this video somewhere connected to Christmas on Lake Street, or you may have stumbled upon this. And in the Christmas season, it's filled with a lot of different things. Sometimes there's a lot of joy and, and fun, but other times there's just a ton of stress. The stress can come from all the expectations around the Christmas holiday. There's an expectation of joyful festivities, an expectation of gathering with people, of having certain foods present, and even giving of gifts. And sometimes that can be overwhelming because sometimes we just don't have it. Like, like we're struggling to put food on the table or struggling to pay certain bills. There could be unexpected things that come up and, and yet there's an expectation placed on you. Maybe it's, it's innocently from family to give gifts or maybe it's your children to provide certain toys or maybe it's at the job where they have white elephant gifts or other gift exchanges and you're struggling to find a way to pay for that and you got all these other things and you can just simply feel inadequate like it's not enough or maybe maybe you're not struggling in that way but by the time the kids or other people get a gift from you they they want more they want a newer phone they want a, a bigger something else and it's a never-ending cycle of trying to provide something and not being able to give enough what is enough you know the Bible says that we all fall short of the mark we all miss the mark of God's perfection we, we, we are well aware that we just aren't perfect so the Bible says that the wages or the payment for that missing the mark, that imperfection, that sin, is death, eternal death. That's such a heavy thing. And when we think about that, we, we often, when we miss the mark, when we make mistakes in life, we try to do more things. We try to cover over our faults, to do extra stuff, to, to cover over for our our mistakes or our imperfections or us not being able to do things we try to do everything to cover over our inadequacies the bible speaks to that even and it says all of our righteous or good deeds are filthy rags the real literal translation in modern day context is all of our righteousness all of our good deeds all of our trying to earn our way to measure up to the standard is like use menstrual pads that's gross that's repulsive that's like ugh. And yet this is what the bible says all of our good works are and that's right back to the christmas stress again we're feeling like we don't measure up what's the antidote this is where jesus enters the scene so scripture doesn't only talk about the wage of sin or the payment of sin being the eternal death that's not the end of even that that verse it goes on to say, but there's a gift of God, which is eternal life. That's where the good news begins. This is, this is, the gift is Jesus Christ. He is the substitute for our sin. He is the, the answer. He is the salvation. So Christ comes in the most lowliest, humblest form. A baby born in a feeding trough in a dirty barn. Came as a servant, not as some Ta-da, here I am, I got all this going on and because I am this big shot celebrity, you have to follow me. No, he comes as a humble servant, one who loves and cares and, and pours himself out for, for those, even those that don't have it all together. And in fact, he calls those, he seeks out those who actually understand they don't have it all together. They don't measure up. They can't do it themselves. You know, our, our actions, our, our money, our, our relationship status, our clout in the community, none of that measures up to covering over our imperfections as it relates to God. And this is where Christ comes, lives a life that we could not live, dies a death to pay for our sin, and provides this free gift. One of the often quoted verses in the Bible, John 3.16, For God so loved us, that he gave his only son that whoever believes in him should have eternal life and does not have to perish here's where it comes down there's a choice to be made we can accept the gift 
a free gift that we didn't have to earn. We don't have to pay for it. We couldn't pay for it even if we tried. Accept the gift of God and put our faith in Christ or do nothing. And that is a rejection of it. It is our hope from the Revolution Church and beyond that you would accept what Christ has done for you. We've been praying for you. We love you. All that we have done this week and more is just to begin to communicate the immensity of the love of Christ. A free meal, a, maybe a gift. The, the festive atmosphere is an example, a, a picture of the festive nature, the extravagant love of Jesus, ultimately shown in the salvation through Christ. The question is, what will you do about it? I hope that you would make the decision to follow Christ. We invite you, if you don't have a church home, um, we invite you to come out to one of our gatherings. We meet on Sundays at 1030. Our next gathering will be December 31st at our place there at 301 South Lake Street. If you got a church home already, cool, get plugged in there, get engaged there. If you have questions about the faith and have questions about God, feel free to reach out to us again. We love you, but as much as we love you, God loves you even more. God bless you.